And we got our final results. So we got a Mega Man looking like Little Pony here now. Hey there everybody and welcome back to the Digital Paul Workshop. It is I, the typo that turns your prompt into a mess, Techno Meow Tinkerer. And today we're going to cover how to do lures, or at least the basics for doing lures and stacking, or more than one lures, known as stacking lures in Comfy UI. Now when I first started, I started using Automatic 1111, and I kind of did like, I do like some of the layout and features, at least being able to visually see what your checkpoints and lures are, but it, it does take a little bit longer to load and to create images on my computer than Comfy UI and there's a few things about Comfy UI I like over Automatic 1111 besides just the speed but let's log on into Comfy right quick now this is uh, my using the browser of, uh, of, of OBS so it's going to be kind of operating a little slightly different because I play around it unlike where my actual browser I use it it'll load it'll load it refresh and default everything this one don't it might be because it's not my main one but we'll go into some of the parts here you have your load checkpoint this is where you your default one is usually this one up here let me zoom in so we can kind of see what we got and then you got a couple different other ones you can download and then you have what you use your clips and you want to make sure this is going from here to these and this is if you just want to create an image without using a lore of course you want your model to go to the K sampler and your VAE to go to the VAE decoder now I'm told some checkpoints don't have VAE so that may vary your empty latent image you want to make sure go into the K sampler as well where it has the uh, height, width, and how many pictures you want to make. So this is the height and width of the picture. Both of your clips also go to the case sampler. One will go to the positive. This is the stuff you want in your picture. And one will go to the negative. This is the stuff you don't want. And of course, it also goes to the VA decoder, VAE decoder. And then your save image is the final one. And there's a couple ways you can actually bring a lower loader in. And so you can do right here. And as you can see, it's uh, zoomed in so let me zoom in here see if it'll make it bigger so I just cl click and drag this it'll bring this up no don't really make it that much bigger and you can bring it that way and you have your lower loader I'm going to remove it and the other way you can bring it in is you double left click and you can just print the search thing and you can just type it in if I can uh, type correctly and so what you're going to end up doing is you're going to move your model from your load checkpoint to here and then this model to the K sampler. So it took away that one string. Same thing with your clips. You're going to bring it down to here and then you're going to clip over to there and to there. That way it will go to your negative and your positive prompts. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring in Mega Man right quick. So let's see. There we go. That's the one I want. And so I'm just going to type Mega Man. Now, one thing I remember about some lures, they got certain trigger words to activate them. And that's one thing I like about Automatic 1111 because when I click on the lure, it goes and then adds all those prompts that are needed. So I'm going to probably have to make a list unless I can find a way how to do that in Comfy. So let me get in a little bit closer here so we can kind of see what I'm doing. Mega Man uh, Blue one boy solo is it one boy or one male i can't remember oops i gotta spell blue correctly i'm trying to think it might be one male or it could be either way let's try one male it's that's something i'm still trying to learn to do is what prompts to put in for what figures the one area i have trouble in is descriptive writing and that's what the, that's what ai requires and so over here on the uh, right side of the screen, you got this Q prompt here at the top. And so you click that, and it's going to create the image. And I'm going to let Future Tinkerer fast forward through all this. Ah, oh, there we go. We're finally done. I don't think it likes uh, creating images while I'm recording at the same time. 
But there goes it. Not a very screen accurate Mega Man, but like I said, I just did some quick little stuff in with the. And it's not normally one of the checkpoints I normally use with Mega Man, but it was one that I've had some fun, some fun creative things with. And so that's how you basically keep do for one. If all you have is one lore and you want to create stuff. Now, what if you want to do more than one? Well, we're going to have to download something. Now, let's download a file. So let's uh, let me bring up my properties here, so I can bring up the actual local file I need. I think that's the one I need. It's still loaded in here. Switch on over. And boom. Uh, so before we get any further down here to the right, I got this manager, and I'm going to try to get a, a short up on how to download the manager itself. And I'm going to go into that right now. But you need to make sure that it's downloaded, and then you'll click on that. And what that will do is it'll bring up a screen where you can load multiple nodes and checkpoints. So right here we've got, whoops, a little too far forward. Come on, this, uh, I try to get this uh, thing to work properly. It does not always seem that I want to do right. This is what I mean trying to use everything inside OBS's uh, browser instead of having to edit and post on uh, Olive. But yeah, you want this comfy UI manager menu, and right here is at the middle top it says custom node manager. That's the one we want to want to click on. Now I've tried in here before, and I typed stacker up there in the search, and that's not what you want. It will bring up a stacker, and I could not figure out how to get that to work. But what you want is this one right here. It says comfy. It looks like it says comfy roll studio. I can't tell and my monitor is not large enough for me this way like it says yeah comfy rose studio and so you're going to want to click on the install on that one to get this the lore stacker i'm going to be using here um, i don't know what all the stuff it comes with but it comes with stuff so again future tinkerer fast forward through the download process <laughs> Okay, once it's done downloading, then you'll end up having to restart the system. This means closing out even the window that looks like the command prompt window. I don't know what it actually is called. Is that, yes, that C Windows System 32. Yeah, it's like the command prompt window that pops up when you use your AIs. And so you have to close that out to reset the system. And in a case of like OBS, I just hit refresh on the window. But on your actual browser window, you can hit refresh once you start back up. And so let's go back to our um, comfy. I go ahead and delete this lore because I don't need it no more. So the lore stacker we're going to do is double click here, and I'm going to do Laura. And right there is the lore stacker. It's one of the things we're going to need right here. Is this? But we're also going to need something else. So I'm double click again. And now you're going to need to type Laura. And so what we want is apply Laura stack. So you're going to kind of need these two. And so you will click. So what you'll end up doing is you'll click your model. Let's actually move this on up here. I'll take my model. I'll move here. And I'll click this model and then I'll move this one over here. So this right here is going to come this lore apply lore stack is going to convert your lores into something I guess you could say readable for the rest of the program. Of course your uh, clips you go to the normal things and then this one. And now in the lore stacker you'll take it and you'll go from here to there. And so we can come in here and we go down here like to where is the model name model so we'll do uh, Mega Man again and let's see nor name let's do uh, pony I got a my little pony thing in here uh, at least I thought I did yeah right there we'll use that one and so I'm just going to go ahead and add pony into this and so let's see what creation it will give me 
now that I have uh, both of those added in there so let's go ahead and hit Q prompt and future tinkerer another fast forward moment please <laughs> And we got our final results. So we got a Mega Man looking like little pony here now. And of course you can come over here and hit click to save. I guess you can do the export it out. I, I normally just go to the actual folder itself that it saves all this stuff to. Um, because then I uh, could bring it in. And one thing I do like about uh, Comfy versus automatic 11 when it comes to upscaling is comfy will upscale my image to what I want without changing it whereas automatic 11 when I try to upscale it it creates usually a whole new image when it may alter something from what it used to be and so that's one thing I don't like about it I do like about comfy so I may end up sometimes might end up switching between the two on the initial work and then come in here for upscaling but as right now I do like the fact that how fast comfy works compared to automatic 11 11 but this is basically how you can just use uh, you import a lore or multiple lores into comfy and now if you want to see what how else I use AI in some of my artwork or some of my creations here of videos uh, check out my video on effortless titles and description with AI tools and I'll go in to detail a bit there of how I use ChatGBT to come up with some of my titles and my descriptions and even thumbnail text on some stuff because even though I'm good at creating stuff a lot of times visually it's the textual stuff that a lot of times stump me as you can probably see here with trying to get some of these prompts done but I hope this has been informative and helpful for some of you. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe and share this with anyone you think might find it interesting. Have a nice day.